Is anyone there? Can you guys hear? Someone let us know if it's working or not. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello! <laughs> yes, got it now. Got it now. Right on. All right. Well, sorry about that. How's it going down under, sir? Yeah, face balls. Exactly. This is what I've got for your face balls tonight, along with some other stuff. We'll get a... Ew. Yeah, we've got something for your ear balls and for your face balls. So all the balls are covered here. <laughs> He's said all the balls. Yeah. So what's going on tonight, guys? You guys have... Did you have a good weekend? Ooh, trying to move. Freaking out down in Australia, Taz? <clears throat> Yay, balls. <laughs> <laughs> All the balls. Yeah. So uh, hopefully nobody out there has uh, coronavirus at this point in time anyway. Chesticles and testicles. Yeah. Nothing wrong with chesticles. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hopefully we don't get a period. That's correct, BJ. I'm not looking forward to being sick for any length of time. However, I'm not really that worried or concerned about the coronavirus either. So, you know, we'll just see how it goes. So, I don't Hi, know. If, Larry. Hey, Larry, how's it going? So, I don't know if you guys saw uh, a video that I posted the other day on... I'll actually get it out here on this little knife right here. Pretty cool mod work to this. Um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I'm going to try to do my best at filming every aspect of that. Um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> it's okay. I'll video longer for you. But uh, I don't know if you guys caught that video or not, but if you didn't, if you guys, I got this uh, sweet Ohlone goat from Northwest Knives, and a man by the name of Aaron Park is the uh, owner slash operator of Northwest Knives, and just a super great guy. And if you guys mention my channel name when you order anything, him, we'll throw in one of these t-shirts for you. So it's a really nice t-shirt. Uh I don't yeah, know about so, y'all, but I'm all about a free t-shirt. Yeah. So yeah, Molly's I like, would probably buy something just for a free t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. If there's free t-shirts involved, Molly's all over it for sure. She yeah, would like, what do I gotta do? I'll do it all. <laughs> she'll stampede small children to get free t-shirts. So oh, so anyway, seriously. check out Northwest Knives. They're great people. Say hello to Aaron and his wife Kippy, and their daughter Kristen also works there. Just really great people. And if you ever make it out to Meridian, Idaho, uh, it's a beautiful area, and it's a really, really kick-ass knife shop for sure. Hi, Lion Knives. So, uh, they want to know: uh, Does that knife remind you of the Pebble? Uh, a little bit. Uh, you know, I mean, it's it's a high class uh, Pebble for sure. Uh, action on it is is really really spectacular. Um, it's a snappy little guy. Ooh, and he's snappy. <laughs> the cow. Actually, I think it was uh, Kurt over at J. Cool. Uh, he uh, he mentioned the cow, which I would be all over that for sure. If this thing was like a, you know, three and three quarter inch blade and, you know, four and a half inch handle or something like that, it would be sick. I would say it's perfect for my hand. I really liked it in my yeah. hand. Yeah, definitely a great knife. Uh Tess for smaller I, hands, for I like sure. a snappy bra. <laughs> oh, hey, what's Tess. up, JB? Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. How's it going tonight? Hopefully, all is well out in uh, lovely Washington. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, the Aloni knives goat. It, I mean, it's a really, really nice knife for sure. Um, right from the get go. So, uh, it's been really cool 
uh, chatting with him and whatnot. And I've got to see you guys are going to be pumped on a bunch of new stuff that he's got coming. Uh, I, some of it I can't show. A few of the things I might show at some point. I have to kind of talk to him before I do any of that. But but he's let me in on a lot of the new stuff that he has coming. There is a GOAT 2 coming. Uh, and it'll be here. Uh, I don't know. We're probably still three or four months away from the GOAT 2. Uh, this one here was made by Tuya Knife. Uh, and the second GOAT is actually going to be made by Riot. Um and it's it's not the exact same model. It's very very similar, uh, but uh, yeah, with with some upgrades, we'll say. Um, BJ says the materials on the goat are obviously better than the pebble, but the profile looks like yeah. It. Is that yeah? Right? You know, BJ on the pebble, uh, the drop point blade, uh, the tip of the blade is kind of more in line with the center line of the knife, uh, where this is kind of a high uh, drop point. So just the blade shape slightly different, but yeah, you know, I, the pebble also doesn't have this kind of hook down at the, at the other end, but very similar in size. Uh, I think the, the blade length on the pebble is a little bit shorter than this one. I can't remember off the top of my head, but, but the, you know, the pebbles a really nice knife for a, you know, VG 10 and, and G 10 knife. Uh, yeah, the best tech pebble. If you guys are not familiar, it's a it's a cool little knife for sure. Hey, there's a guy hey, from Ireland, Gearhead, 1982. Hey, how's it going from Ireland? What's up? Ireland sucks. Scotland rules. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> my wife is Scottish, so uh, so don't. Uh, yeah, hopefully we don't have any any Braveheart <laughs> situations happening. I there. actually made an Irish cake today, though. But yeah, yeah, that's right. You didn't. <clears throat> That's okay. So, so yeah. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Um, Chad, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know about Blade Show. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with all these cancellations. Yeah, it'll it'll suck if they. We'll just have it in our front yard. Yeah, it'll be like Firefest. Hang out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, this is a, a knife that we talked quite a bit about on uh, SKL last night. Thanks, JB, for that, by the way. It was a good time. So anybody that is in here that doesn't go and check out JB's live uh, on SKL, uh, Saturday Night Live, definitely do so. It's a really good time. <clears throat> but Jay. for the money, for sure. Y'all don't need to do that. What's but that? He gave us monies. Oh. Damn, BJ, thanks a lot, man. You didn't have to do that, but I greatly appreciate it. We just enjoy your witty writings, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or at least I do. You, you guys are funny. Yeah, absolutely. No the, need uh, to pay for this exchange. <laughs> thanks a lot, guys, for doing that. Um, so, as I was saying on the uh, the QSP Penguin here, uh, these knives you can buy. I personally picked these up on drop, which that story has been told multiple times by JB and, and uh, on SKL and whatnot. Uh, they did go for 20 bucks on there, but you can still find this knife for $29 in other places. And it's definitely worth 29 bucks. It's a, uh, it's a comfy knife. The Warren cliff blade is pretty cool. Uh, riding on phosphor bronze washers. It is D two, but, uh, but a cool little budget knife. And definitely prime for doing some mod work to it. I bronzed all the metal bits on this knife, other than the blade. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then I also did uh, some bead blasting on the micarta. I don't know what it is with the companies doing polished micarta these days, but they need to quit it. If you're going to do micarta, uh, you know. Why, why polish it? I, it? It just takes away the, the best part about my cardo, which is the grip. So I really wish guys would stop doing that. But anyway, a cool little knife for sure. So if you guys uh, find this somewhere for, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going for just under 30 bucks, like 29 something. Uh, pretty cool little knife. Definitely. QSP is definitely stepping their game up for sure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, Gerald, no polished micarta. We need to start doing that. So.
So one other thing that I wanted to talk about is I noticed that this just this weekend, you know, we brought out the uh, the wheel of steel. Uh, oh, oh, we're going there. We're going there. <laughs> we brought out the wheel of steel a couple of weeks ago as well, um, which. He just yeah. racked his brains for weeks yeah. and weeks and weeks and yeah. just couldn't come. With the wheel of steel and the sharpness tester, uh, I uh, was able to get essentially a, a sponsor for the thing on YouTube. Sharpening supplies. <laughs> Sorry, my wife's yelling at the dogs. Uh, sharpening supplies. If you guys have not went and checked out their website, uh, do so. They have everything you need. Uh, a bunch of stuff that I had never even seen or heard of before, but uh, some really, really great things and all, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, John is the owner there and just a really, really great guy. And so he was kind enough, a whole bunch of stickers. So everybody that sends their knife in for the TSA game, at the very least, you're going to get stickers, which is cool. But he was also kind enough to hooked me up with another uh, test media holder for the sharpness tester itself. So now I have two of them. So when we go to do the, the actual testing of the knives, we can, you know, Molly can be loading the, the media in one while I'm testing a knife. So that can speed things up significantly. So thank you very much, John, for mm -hmm. that. Thank you. Much and then the other thing that, uh, he hooked me up with is this right here. A paddle for our children. Yeah, so this is a paddle for our children. They're too old is, to be paddled. Well, are you ever too old to be paddled? Not, not really, no. I think you can paddle at any age. Yeah. But you can see here. Paddle for that, this baby dog. <laughs> that it says it's uh, like branded into the wood there, sharpeningsupplies.com. So this mm -hmm. is their XL strop kit. So... The actual leather on this strop measures 12 inches long and three inches wide. And you've got this uh, kind of coarse uh, leather on one side and it feels fantastic. It smells fantastic. It, it really does. Yeah. <laughs> it feels so good. And then you've got this leather on the opposite side. Now, I'm not sure what type of leather this is exactly. Um, I don't know if, you know, if one's horse hide and the other one's kangaroo or something, or I, I don't I have no idea what the leathers are. Uh, but either way, I know that they feel extremely good. And then you've got a handle on it here. Uh, and it also comes with a, a big bar of compound. Now, uh, I'm going to, but this right here will be one of the prizes uh, for the TSA game. So, uh, John at Sharpening Slides actually gave me two of these. Uh, he gave one to me, and he wanted asked if I would uh, do a video and that, and we'll, you'll be seeing that video pretty soon. Uh, but then the other one here, and then there will be a second prize for the uh, the drawing that's just drawn. So hope everybody is pumped on that. The strop is, like I said, it, the quality of it is fantastic. Uh, the wood is very, very nicely finished. And so uh, just to give you some sort of idea, if you went to their website and purchased this strop with this exact compound, it, it's $50. So so the strop itself is uh, 40 bucks for the extra large one. And the compound is $10. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a good size block of, uh, of compound. It's certainly going to last you a really long time. Uh, this particular compound here, uh, it says that it is micro fine honing compound, and uh, the grit in this one is um, it's aluminum oxide and chromium oxide, if I remember correctly. So, so Ooh. the actual abrasive in here is aluminum oxide and chromium oxide. So, hi Mary from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Nice. Hey Mary, how's it going? So, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's going to be one of the prizes. So hopefully you guys are, are pumped so, on that. BJ, you will not be winning because we already know you sharp. Oh, sure. So, 
Yeah, that's uh, I'm I'm really happy, uh, and and certainly it helps me out a lot to to have supplies uh, donate some stuff for the yeah for the game. It's really awesome. Super and I, cool. I can't thank them enough. Uh, and so I don't know if you guys are familiar with them or not, but they're a, a from what I have dealt with them at this point, a really great company. Their their uh, location or they're located in Wisconsin, um, and you know just just really good Midwest people. What's everybody carrying today? Nothing. 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 Pockets are empty. Or did everybody just go nude today? <laughs> it's too cold here for that. It got chilly today. It did get chilly today. Yeah, not interested in that. <clears throat> so, saw a knockout right here. Uh, here came from Omaha Knives, talking about another really great knife shop. Uh, Format the, Demco eighty fifteen. Nice. Two sons. Taz carried his face balls. <laughs> carried the face <laughs> balls right on. An 0640. I try to carry my nice and a backup roll of Charmin, of course. Yeah, yeah. We just realized today that we're on our last um, two rolls of paper towels and. I don't want to go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Luckily, we have lots of handhelds. <laughs> Not a big deal. But, uh, yeah, so the uh, the knockout here, this particular model, <laughs> um, it's sold out most places for the – this one is in M390. Uh, Hi, Penny. Hey, Penny. How's it going? So you can see there in the model number is 1870. So the carbon fiber with M390, it's a cool knife for sure. I, you know, again, kind of like the uh, goat. I wish it was larger. Um, it's so I would love to see them do a, a knockout XL or a, a Tyson knockout or something. I don't know what they'd call it, but yes, yeah, that one looks really awesome for sure. And it's still the M390 blade. And I can't remember if that one's stonewashed or not, but uh, <laughs> but it's a cool knife, definitely. I'm pretty happy with it. And, you know, for a U.S. made knife with, with premium materials uh, and that the red one from USA Made Blade, that thing's $99. So it's, uh, it's a good deal as well. But knife... Uh, like I said, it's, I'm pretty sure this thing sold out just about everywhere, the carbon fiber one. Uh, but uh, Omaha Knife had some, and uh, I'm not sure if they still do, but definitely give them a call. And I'll, uh, I'll link their website, phone number, and stuff in the description. You can call and talk to Curtis or Ann. Uh, they're you really great people. You should probably actually talk to Izzy. She's the coolest. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Izzy, Izzy's the coolest. She's the... She's no the, offense, uh, Ann. She's the boxer uh, that uh, she's the shop dog. So definitely, definitely a cool dog for sure. Corned beef and cabbage. Bleh. So enjoy your dinner, Big Red. I saw a few. Oh, is he taking off? Yeah. Oh, we'll see you later. Thanks a lot, JB. Yeah, he doesn't like us anymore. Gotcha. Yeah. So uh, I saw a few shaman here or shaman. Yeah. Um, so uh, there's a few of these knives that is for sale that's oh, on the table here. Got to have soda bread. This is one of them. Uh, this is the Blade H Blade HQ exclusive Shaman in uh, CPM M4 with the coated blade and hardware. It's brand new, never been used. Brand new, never been used. Yeah, a cool knife for sure. And then about time, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> what up steve how's it going so uh this one here is the uh the uh, delica with the zome pattern aka and the manual ram knife <laughs> yeah, here we go we're living glory days hell yeah and this one's in hat 40 and sus 410 uh really cool little knife so both of these are uh, Spider Co's that are on sale. If anyone's interested, oh, and then, today oh, only. I get do. a second one for a separate price. Uh, yeah, just right. Just pay separate fee. Right. Uh, I do have a few others, so 
I have uh, all the Tenacia. Uh, so if anyone's interested in any of the Tenacious lightweight models, um, I've got all of those. And I also have got all of the salt, the new steel. Yeah, I got murdered out and satin, uh, plain edge and serrated. Uh, so, Steve yeah. wants to know how we're doing. I personally am doing just dandy. Yep. Thanks for asking, Steve. How are you? We're doing well, for sure. <clears throat> so, if you're interested in any of these, hit me up. Have a bunch of that kind of stuff. And then uh, other things, since I've been asked a bunch about stuff that's for sale. Oh, I guess I do have one other Spider Co. here. This is the Insistent. Uh, this is the last one of these that I have left. Uh, this one's partially serrated. And uh, oh, something on the handle there. But, uh, yeah, cool little budget knife for sure. A uh, little small for, for my hand. Your hands are the problem. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, my hands are not the problem for this. The Hornet 2, this thing is gorgeous in my hands. That's a fantastic knife for sure. So other knives that I have for sale, uh, Taz, you were hit me up on Instagram earlier and asked me about anything custom. Uh, this here is the ZT0470. Um, <laughs> this knife was uh, owned uh, by another gentleman, so I am the second owner. However, it has never been carried, uh, so it is brand new. Uh, and it's a gorgeous knife for sure. Still has factory edge, never been sharpened. And when it when I received it, it was uh, just raw titanium. And I just felt like it needed to be bronze. And so I did this really dark bronze anno on it. And it turned out really, really great. I'm super happy with the way it looks. It's a gorgeous knife. And yeah, so... That one is also for sale, if anyone's interested. The ZT0470. Mm -hmm. The toilet paper situation is ridiculous here, Mary. I'm good, though. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sean, what's going on, man? So another knife uh, that I'll probably be selling at some point is this one right here. This is another... Uh, for those that don't know, this ZT0470 is a, a Sinkovich design, Dmitry Sinkovich. And this is another Dmitry Sinkovich design. And this D is an S35VN. If I, yep. S35VN. Again, this knife was never carried. Uh, brand new. I've been thinking about doing some custom work to this one. I'm not sure what I'll do yet, but you got any ideas on doing some anno. It is carbon fiber show side doing some anno on this guy. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me know in the comments if what, what you think would look cool on this knife, but yeah. see, a couple of cool sinkers, no doubt. So another one that I've got for sale is this uh, giant mouse Clyde. Uh, this one's in L max and it's the, uh, I don't know what they call it. I don't know if they call it green or brown micarta. Either way, it's good micarta. It's not polished. So anyone's mm. interested in that, again, it's like new, never been used. Uh, Even if it cool. was polished, you would have fixed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool little knife for sure. And got the anodized aluminum orange backspacer with the orange thumb stud. And action on it's really nice. It's real snappy. Cool little knife for sure. It's just a little small for my hands. Uh, I like the knife. I like the look and the design. It's just small. Clyde's just a wee little feller. Just a wee little feller. Yeah. This here is more on this. This is the uh, Tucson TS-159. Uh, it's a fantastic knife. Ergos on this thing are really, really great. I'm probably going to make the choil a little bit bigger. Uh, I thought it felt pretty good when I was doing it, but now that I have it back together, I think I'm going to go a little bit bigger on the forward choil on this one. But uh, 
Yeah. So what's uh has anybody picked up anything new recently? I'll steal toilet paper from like my neighbors before I eat old socks. And sharpened up, man. Yeah. You got Get it the, moving. The what was it, the 29th, I think. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think of this one? Oh, and this is the Civivi Chronic. Pretty cool little knife, you know. It's just real, real basic, but but cool in its simplicity. Oh, Mary's husband has fifty-two two sun knives. Wow, nice. Does he love every one of them, Mary? I love all my two sons. They're great. Just the two sun TS two twenty three CF for him for Steve this week. Nice Kaiser. Yeah. Beg leader, beg lighter, beg lighter. Mm -hmm. PF is a cool one for sure. Yes, he does love every. Oh, they're fantastic knives. This is uh, another great Tucson right here. Really, really good one. Waiting on my Wii Blocao, 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 mm -hmm. lock back. Black titanium frame with shredded CF scales S35VN. Yeah, that's a really cool knife for sure. I I know some people <laughs> have kind of hated on the Blacow for the the way that the lock is on that knife. Personally, I love the uh, lock marksman, and I know some people have compared it to that because of the 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 way the lock operates. Uh, and I, it's really nothing like the the Buck Marksman, but but I do like the Blacow for its size uh, one because it's the I think it's got a, a four inch blade or, or damn close to it. Um, and yeah, that's a, that's a knife that I definitely want to get my hands on at some point because I think it's super cool. BJ says he loves all your two sons too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. BJ's got a bunch yeah. of them for sure. And Penny got a Benchmade two hundred Puko. Is oh, that yeah. How you say that? Yeah, that's a fixed blade. Mary's husband has about 5,000 knives in his collection. Holy cow. Do you have just like the kitchen to work with in your <laughs> house? Or like. So, the FYI, there is a new Puko coming out from Benchman uh, that I saw while I was out there a few weeks back. And it's going to be calling it but it's larger than the puko 200 or the 200 puko i guess uh it's super cool slicey dicey and just come um to our live stream so you guys aren't late i mean i just want you to be timely <laughs> <laughs> i just want you to be timely hey keeper how's it going so uh so yeah you know here's my well, this isn't actually a marksman. This is the SK Blades Inferno that I modified. Hey, Zach. Uh, hey, Zach. What's going on? <laughs> cool writ die job earlier. My husband's here's, crazy over knives too, Mary. I feel you. Here's some of my writ die handiwork. Uh, this was this started life as a, a Blaze Orange uh, G10, so it looked something like that. <laughs> And I did kind of a fade so you could still see a little bit of the orange coming through. So it looks kind of weathered and um, I got a little bit of oil coming through the pivot. But for anyone that hasn't had a, a Buck Marksman, this thing is the Fidget Factor King. Uh, once you get good with this knife, man, is it good. It's amazing. Uh, amazing action for sure. And you can Spidey flick it. Just a fantastic knife. You guys are all way too happy to see Zach. We need to change something here. <laughs> <laughs> I joke. I kid. Yeah. Zach's a popular guy. Well, and, it's and nice. So the, the Buck Marksman, man, and I would recommend getting this version right here, uh, the SK Blades, either the Grey Ghost or the Inferno, either one. Uh, you get upgraded steel because the, the standard marksman comes with aluminum scales and 154 CM. And it's a great knife. Uh, but like an extra 10 bucks, you can get the SK Blades version. This thing goes for, for like 125, uh, something like that. Just, just a little over 100 bucks. And you get G10 scales with S35VN. 
um, with all blacked out hardware and blade or black wash. So, yeah, Zach seems like a nice guy. I'll let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> Taz yeah. says people are in love with Zach in a non-gay me. What? Uh, I don't Brian. know. Oh. Hi, Brian. Hey, Brian. How's it going? So, yeah. I, what? I love Zach, too. I'm what? not afraid to admit it. Zach, you say they're just supporting my live stream cooking demo? What? Yeah. He, like well, cooking food? He dyed scales. Oh. that That's... Different kind of cooking. <laughs> Different kind of cooking. For I thought sure. maybe you were showing like some knife work on in a cooking like cooking food scenario. No, no. So that's cool. Yep, yep. He did uh, did dyed the scales on a on a mini bug out. Yeah, purple scales. Yep. He turned made white scales purple. Nice. Here's my. Uh, Hey, everybody. <laughs> my little my little tiny Benchmade that I got while you and I were out there at Benchmade, Zach. This thing, if anyone would have told me that I, I would have left there with this knife, I would have told you you were crazy. Um, just looking at it, this isn't really, this is a little too mall ninja for me, uh, generally speaking. Well, as I say that, and I have this thing <laughs> sitting here. Right. <laughs> And, I don't know. And, got a couple things. It, that and this, up. yeah, I have a few. I have a few running around that are that are pretty insane. But man, this thing is so good in hand. I, I can't say enough about if you have big hands. The the auto bedlam is just a just a beast. It really is. And I've never had the access auto before. Uh, the thing rockets out for. I mean, this thing's a four inch blade, and and it. Uh, yeah, it's just a it's a badass knife. I really dig it. Mary asked, have we been ever ever been asked if we have metallic blue or purple knives? And I don't know that we've specifically been asked, but we do have some knives that well, are blue some, or here's some shiny. Purple. This is some of my handiwork right here. Uh that is shiny blue and purple. Uh this is anodized titanium. I I like purple too, Mary. It's one of my faves. Yep. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I do a bunch of, you know, I don't know, customizing or whatever, mod <laughs> modifications on knives, if you will. Taz says, I like curvy blades and I cannot lie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You other brothers can't deny. <laughs> yeah. And I actually, I, I love both of these knives right here. And I would have told you before I got both of these in hand, I would have told you I'm not a fan of Persian style knives at all. And then I get both of these and absolutely love them. And they both have a little, little Persian influence for sure. Especially the, the bedlam. This thing's uh, a little bit more flair. Yeah. And the fact that it's an auto makes it even more of a beast. It's just uh yeah, really, really awesome knife. So if you guys out there that have large hands, um, uh, man, I, I it's just it's so good in hand, it's unbelievable. So this one comes highly recommended. Uh I don't know that they actually said a day, but I'm pretty confident that this model is going away. So if you uh are interested at all in one of these, you might want to pick it up. It shouldn't be hard to find, I'm sure. A lot of places have this in stock. Actually, I know uh, that uh, Northwest Knives has it in stock. So you could get this sweet, sweet auto bedlam. And, and a free t-shirt. Yeah, and mention that you heard about it on my channel, and you'll get a free if well, you're If you're interested in that beast, get yourself a free t-shirt. Can't say no to that. No. No, we won't. <laughs> yeah, no, we won't. Those are hot commodities right now. <laughs> Towels. So we were talking about the uh, the old AD15 early. Dyed the, the G10 on it. And then I polished the high spots on the G10. So it's kind of hard to tell in this light, but they're shiny. And the flats are dull. Uh, but uh, fully ambidextrous, which is great. Uh I, I'm left-handed, but use, you know, use both and, uh, yeah, carry knives in, in both right and left pocket. So, yeah. 
Aaron's an authorist. Oh, he's an author. Right on. Thanks, Chris, for letting us know that. So Aaron, it's uh, he's a Medford. He's got Medford's uh, Jay Kobach stuff, and then of course you know Spider Co. and Benchmade Kershaw. Um, uh, I can't remember, but a lot of the standard USA made stuff. And then uh, he also has some really, really amazing South African uh, uh, fixed blades. And uh, he's got the most impressive uh, number of Chris Reeve knives that you'll ever see at a single dealer. So if you want, if you're interested in some CRK stuff, hit up uh, Aaron at Northwest Knives because likely he's going to be the best place to try and find something specific. If you're looking for a, a new Sabenza 31 and his shops only, you know, 10 minutes down the road from, from CRK. So they definitely have a really good selection of, of Reeves stuff there. Hi Winchester. Hey Winchester. I what's going on? Not be tolerating this late business. <laughs> I'm going to need everybody to be on time, punctual folks. <clears throat> Another knife guy. What's going on, man? Oh yeah, and he's got Koenig knives uh, helping me out there. He's he's really got Air, Northwest knives. They have a lot of fans. Their website. I can't say enough about them. I don't get anything out of the deal with this whole T-shirt thing. Um, it's not like I'm doing that to to raise money for myself or anything like that. I'm just yeah. trying just to help bonus out for you guys. Yeah. It's just, I'm just trying to help out Aaron. Cause he said, and he said that if, if I mentioned it, he <laughs> would give, you know, if, if you guys mentioned my channel name, uh, he would give you guys a free t-shirt, which is awesome. And the t-shirts are super nice. I actually am wearing one right now. Honestly, I got a green one on. Uh, so I bought some t-shirts from him when I was out there, actually, uh, Every uh, really cool guy, and uh, did you get the Puko? Huh? Are you happy with the Puko, Penny? I, I think the Puko is great. I really love the handle on the Puko, and the three V is awesome. Um, Puko's the new larger one to come out. Um, if you want to check, cool fixed blade. Uh, this right here is the Manly Drugger. That's grippy. Yeah, it is. It's real grippy for sure. But I, I love the way it looks. The Puko is an awesome knife. Um, this uh, manly and this one happens to be in uh, CPM 154. Really nice and thin behind the edge. This is a, this is a really cool fixed blade. So that's uh, that's a great knife. But like I said, so is the Puko. Puko is a fantastic one. Coup. Coup. Knife the coup. Yeah. So a knife that uh, I thanks for coming by. For my birthday. So I don't have a bedtime tonight, guys. Right on. Have a nice day tomorrow, Kiefer. Hope you uh, had a great weekend. Work Thanks hard for stopping and by. Stay safe and stock up on <laughs> TP. So uh, Tucson has got some fantastic new designs coming out. Uh, some really, really awesome stuff. If you guys are uh, digging the Tucson models, they're man, they're just they're killing it for sure. And they have some beautiful kitchen knives too. Uh, Really, just some amazing stuff that it, the prices are unbelievable. You can get this one. Mine is one of the original versions that is in uh, 12C27. Uh, however, the new one, same same exact handle. It's got carbon fiber with the uh, titanium bolster bolster lock with the hardened insert. <clears throat> uh, ergonomics are just amazing on this knife just really really fantastic in hand on ceramic bearings the action is stellar just a really really fantastic knife for sure so can't rec recommend this one enough it's a it's a great knife and it is available right now so you can find this thing on amazon you can find it on ebay uh there's multiple places and i think 
I can't remember if White Mountain Knives has this exact model or not, uh, but they, you know, certainly are carrying some Tucson stuff at this point. Um, and then there's also another uh, a knife shop out in California that is carrying Tucson stuff. And I cannot remember. I'll, I'll put a link up in the description for the, the knife. Uh, the, the shop in California is not one I've ever been to before, uh, but, but I know they're carrying some Tucson stuff, which is great. So definitely really cool knives and the uh 182 yeah i think this one's the 182 really cool knife full carbon fiber construction with a titanium liner lock with a hardened there you can kind of see it there the insert on the titanium liner uh just a gorgeous knife this one here actually both of these are Wong designs. If I can get them to show up, but yeah, really, really great stuff. And uh, they actually have a couple of new designers uh, at Tucson and some. Really what was that Tucson model number that was a front flipper? This one, are you talking about a different one that I've shown before? This one here is the uh, 198, if this is the one you're asking about, Steve. Um, He's got too many to know. This was uh, a long design with uh, 14C28N, and then I, you know, of course, I did the anno on it. CF on one side and reported to be coming back. Oh, the 129. Um, I don't have that uh, right at the moment. It's actually in transit back to me. Uh, I loaned it out. Uh, so I don't have that one here right at the moment. But yeah, it's it's coming back. Uh, you should see it. Uh, I Well, from what I've been told, uh, before the end of this month, uh, you should see that thing hitting shelves again. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a cool one for sure. The TS one twenty nine is a really great knife, and then the other one. Uh, let me find it here. Uh, here it is. No, not that one. He says. What? He said no, not that one. Oh, the Moz one. Well, right here. This is this one right here. It, but it's this one's carbon fiber on both sides. It's got marble carbon fiber. This is the uh, TS-186 Kingfisher. Uh, and this one's available right now. You can buy this one currently. The one Stassa loves so much. Oh, that's the 129. The one that Stassa loves so much that I showed a long time ago. And then it sold out everywhere. And then Stassa talked about it too. And then and then it was sold out uh Actually, by the time he got it, it was already sold out because um, I'd put some videos out. And uh, Hi, bye, Greg. <laughs> Greg said, yeah. I just want to stop in to say hi. Have a great stream. I'm going back to watching the debates. Oh, right on. So hi, bye. <laughs> yeah, right on. Thanks, Greg. Have a good night. Enjoy the uh, debate, although I'm pretty sure it's not going to be much of a debate. But anyway, um, yeah, and there's not going to be anybody in attendance. They they decided, right? I don't. Yeah, no. I think it's just, just going to be yeah. them in a studio. Yeah, they're like just a like new studio? live streaming it. Mm -hmm. uh, so the uh, Kingfisher here is a beautiful <laughs> knife. If anyone, uh, it, it's just an absolutely gorgeous knife. Mazwan Mokdar is is just absolutely killing it. Actually, I'll. Uh, move some stuff out of the way and show you all the models that I have from him. Uh, I've got a, a handful of Mazwan designed models. Um, uh, and he, he's actually, Oh, there you go. Okay. I like, I like your style. I like that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Not that I'm opposed to like knowing both sides, but <laughs> so we have the TS, I think that's it. Do you know if it will be coming in S ninety V? V Steve says. Uh, which which one? The TS one twenty nine. 
I do not know. Uh, the The original one was done in 14C28N, uh, but I have no idea what the new one's going to be in, uh, for steel. It wouldn't surprise me if it's either M390 or S90V, one or the other. Um, great knife. This is kind of a, this is, I would call this not a full-blown budget knife uh, because you've got uh, G10, it's got titanium hardware. Uh, you can see the, the anodized pivot collar and the anodized screws with a uh, backspacer, titanium anodized pocket, uh, but, and it's riding on double row ceramic uh, ball bearings. It's a liner lock. Uh, it's a steel liner lock and D2 blade. So it's kind of a, you know, it's, it's, for scales and blade steel, it's kind of budget, but then it's uh, upgraded with the double row ceramic bearings <laughs> and uh, and all the titanium hardware. It's a cool knife. Yeah. And nope. he says, nope, never mind. Not a geyser. Walt's yep. alarm. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, yeah. And I don't know which Kaiser. Grab the. Kaiser out of the drawer over there. Oh, the I have a yeah. I have a Kaiser that my wife steals that she uses in the kitchen. Uh, I'll show you here in a moment. But these three models right here um, are all Mazwan designs, and uh, you can see this one's got some anno work done. But cool little knives for sure. Uh, the Stargazer is cool because you can. It's got that hole out in the end of the blade. It's uh, it's kind of cleaver esque, especially with the hole. But but a kind of a small little knife. Uh, but Mazwan does some awesome front flippers, and he's actually got a brand new model out. Uh, that's a beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, so yeah, Mazwan Mokhtar is killing it with the designs. Uh. Here's a Kaiser for you. Great for use in the kitchen, cutting your veg, <laughs> chopping, slicing. I need to wipe it off. Yeah, because I use it a lot. Yeah, so my wife uses this thing all the time in the kitchen. Um, and this is also riding on uh, double row ceramic bearings. That thing trims meat like you'd never did seen. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Cool knife. Uh, 154 cm blade steel. Uh, this is the uh, Kaiser Sheepdog XL. So, just to give you an idea, the size of these, the Cebu is not a small knife. It's it's pretty good size. Mhm, mm mhm. But, but yeah, the uh, the Sheepdog XL is is a is a fantastic knife Love for it. sure. Absolutely love it. This is one knife that I could go on and on about. <laughs> <clears throat> so, so is there any anything else you guys want to see tonight? Or yeah. the big old boy. Then. So, any any other knives you want to talk about or see? Yeah. yeah. All right. Enjoy your time at work, Zach. Have a good evening. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. You want me to review the sheepdog? No. Winchester, I do not have a Gavco nurse. I, I would love to show you one, uh, but I do not have one. Do you have a full size? Pick five forever knives from Great. current collection. Uh Boy, uh, as much as I like the sheepdog, it's got to go. Uh, the That's 186 has got to go. My Actually, everything on the screen has to go. Um, this one, for sure, that's the Tepe Design Hornet 2.0. That one definitely makes the list. Uh, the uh, Buck Marksman, or in this case, the SK Blades. Uh, those. No. Sorry, um, Ty. I've only had one Medford ever, and and it, I had it, and then it was gone about three days later. Another knife guy says, "Yeah, boy, here's the good stuff." Gotcha. <laughs> um, I I would really be, I don't know what to say.
S127, that definitely uh, falls into my fantastic category that I can't live without. You don't want me to do a knife review, BJ. You just, it'll be. <laughs> and then. A train uh, wreck. <laughs> I'm going to. It's a toss up between these two. They're both so good. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, this is the Tia. This is a Tucson, a TS. I know it's called the Oval. Uh, 165 AD 15. What's that? That's uh, this one right here. Mm. Um, yeah, the AD 15 is a great knife, but I don't know that it's gonna make my forever list. Uh, there are definitely, definitely really, really far up the scale for me. Um, and then the life now, guys. What we're going to um, do actually, here is I'm going to get rid of everything and only let him keep these five. Actually, uh, I'm not going to be able to show you. I sent my Rex 45 Manix to Kurt. Uh, so it's in the mail right now. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of. Uh, yeah, I can't show that one, but that, that one would help them. Um, this is a, a new one that I haven't shown yet. Uh, this is, you can see. It's got the, the four stops like the Manly Wasp. Essentially, this is just a large wasp. Um, this is the uh, Manly Comrade. Really, really nice thin behind the edge. Uh, and finish on this thing is not spectacular. <laughs> Good. Not, not great. Uh, this is not one of my favorite knives. I just, I saw it sitting there and I don't think I've shown it before. So, uh so yeah, um, there's things I like about it, but, but when it comes, actually, another knife that that would certainly be up there for me is this one right here. Uh, so that's the Manly Peak. This is a really, really fantastic knife. Love the Manly Peak. That's the first one you did a review on, huh? Video? Um, I can't remember. First or second? It was it was one of the original ones that I did a video on for sure. <laughs> so so yeah, those are those are some of my favorites. Um, yeah, um, for for one right now, I've I've loaned a whole bunch of stuff out, and I sent knives to Kurt, and so just uh, knives willy nilly. Yeah, there's there's knives willy nilly unmonitored all around the country that are, you know, oh, just definitely uh, high on the food chain for me. Christine Women Carries Knives? Hey, Christine, what's yeah. up? Yep. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. Sorry. <laughs> I've got your Christine loves this knife. Yeah. Maloney Goat. Yes. I like it too. I, I agree. Yep, it's a good one. And Christine, I, when I got this thing in my possession, I handed it to Molly so she could check it out and she she definitely liked it as well um yeah pocket it feels really great. good in my hand it just and you to look at it you wouldn't think that it would you know be phenomenal not bad but not phenomenal but it really does feel good hey christine have you got to check out uh the the uh void from brian nado design Still talking about the goat. Yeah. It's a good one to play with for you have not. Um it hit me up on Instagram or something. I'll I'll be more than happy to send this out to you if you want to check it out. Um I think this is something that you would uh you would really enjoy for sure. <clears throat> she said buffering like crazy. Yeah. There's been a lot of buffering. Yeah, uh, sorry. it's been buffering on my phone too, so. Yeah, no, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't, I don't know what to say about that, but um, it's probably coronavirus in the <laughs> yeah air. Yeah, Carolyn, some uh, some modification work to the goat. One real quick, is that peak in, in S ninety V? It is not. It I'm is, sorry, S ninety. No. Okay. It is S ninety V that oh, they're okay. commenting on, but no, it's in twelve C twenty. Oh, trying to get the straightened out here. Sorry. Since we're talking about the goat and what it has to offer, 
here. So you can have the blue marbled carbon fiber, red marbled carbon fiber, just straight up marbled carbon fiber, or what they call twill carbon fiber, or just standard uh, weave pattern. Uh, you can see here that the goat that I have has the standard weave, um, but we're going to do some modifying to this knife. And I actually have a set of the inlays that Mr. Derek Costa sent my way, which is fantastic. Um, and so, yeah, to give you a little sneak peek of some stuff that's to come, uh, there's going to be a little bit of uh, work with some inlays going on. So it should be pretty cool. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I like the blue. Yeah, so Molly, you like the blue inlays. Uh, oh, nice. Yep. And then the the red. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, the colors that are in there, it's just well done. You know, it's not it's not too much color. It's just uh, little hints here and there, which I really like. It's kind of subtle. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Uh and the the new uh, the new goat coming from Riot, uh, I've I've gotten to see some some sneak peeks, if you will. Uh, it's pretty sweet. You guys are going to be pumped on it for sure. Totes sweet. Totes sweet. <laughs> Faux show. Point oh. The goats totes sweet. Yeah, from a different manufacturer. So yeah, it'll it'll be it'll be really awesome. Um, the new one when it hits. Uh, shelves, I'm sure it will not stick around very long. So, uh, the Rumson is a, oops, the Rumson is a new knife from, uh, and I know I can show, them, so I'll, I'll show you guys here. Um, the Rumson is coming uh, from Derek Costa. And, yeah. Yep. It's uh, Derek's just a fantastic guy, and he and I have talked quite a bit over the last uh, handful of days. Uh, it's been stop for work, so I've just yeah, you know it, it no, is what cool. it is. It I happens. hang out with the dogs. <laughs> Nobody's talking to me. <laughs> right, exactly. As she's sitting, I am on the phone a lot for work and stuff, so. Um, when when JB and I were uh, met up out in Washington a few weeks ago and coming from uh, Derek Costa and Ohlone Knives, what do you guys think of that? Uh, it should be here pretty soon. Uh, here's another picture. So you can see it's titanium liners, titanium pocket clip, M390, um, and sterile blade, just like the GOAT. Uh, Pretty cool knife for sure. So definitely, I, I like the uh, milled line there to kind of give the appearance of a faux bolster. Pretty cool. Mm, bolster. So, hey, Jeff, what's going on? So, yeah, you guys will have to stay tuned to uh, Derek Costa and Aloni Knives. Uh, go and follow him on Instagram. And uh, he's he's definitely cool stuff coming. So yeah. So right on. Well, um, anybody uh, any questions or anything? We've been going for an hour and fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Like, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. Um, I, there's, I, I have no way to fix it or anything. So, um, I apologize, but it's 100% out of my control. Um, but you know, pretty much every single live stream I've ever watched, there's a certain level of buffering on just about every single one of them. So, and we live out in the country, and you know. And there's coronavirus. In the yeah, so. and, there, and there's coronavirus in the area. Yeah, okay, a, moving on. Is will nilly <laughs> just you know things are, it's crazy. I'm just gonna um, use that for an excuse for everything. 
My uh, favorite knife for under $30. Mm. I've, uh, depending on where you buy them, uh, both of these, I've seen them go as low as like 25 bucks. Uh, so definitely the best, the best knife. Uh, if you, if you can pick this thing up for anything under 40 bucks, you'll be blown away with how good these two are. Um, especially if you got larger hands, but they have some other options that are even a little bit smaller than this that are in the same sort of price range. Um, but those two knives are phenomenal. Um, but otherwise, uh, for under 30 bucks, uh, the penguin penguins are really great one. I picked these up for $20. Again, I, I did a bunch of mods to this one. I bronzed all the hardware and Miners, the pocket clip, and I bead blasted the micarta to give it texture. Um, so they they also actually Christine just had these. Uh, um, Christine had the had this on her channel the other day, and and I really like it uh, for for as small as it is. I like it better than I thought I would. Um, they also offer this in a blue jean micarta, uh, just, which is interesting. Christine just said, love the jean micarta. Yeah. And when I bought them, I got these off a of drop. I actually got this one and one for JB at Big Red EDC. Uh, and they were out of the blue jean micarta. They only had this one available. So Because Christine bought them all. <laughs> yeah, right. right? She, she had both of them. She had one of each. Did and she? I, the blue one was cool for sure. But, you know, this one... I like the the bronze that I did on there. Um, uh, I think that I, looks good. Yeah, I, I, I really like the way it turned out uh, with the pivot and the screws, the thumb stud. It looks very handsome. The liners. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the way it all turned out. Uh, so, so, yeah, you know, but... But I think it would all that hardware would look really awesome with the blue jean micarta as oh, well. Oh, she got them from Pass Around Group. Yeah. Got it. Yep. <clears throat> so how's Peter tonight, Christine? Ooh, good 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 lord. Oh, <clears throat> she can't find the jean in stock now since you oh. know they're not hers. Yeah. That stinks. Yep. That does, but uh, for real, I don't. I guess we got off topic. Uh, Watching together, but uh, but cool one for sure. And I, I think Christine, you would like this a lot, Peter. Um, I'm sure Peter will appreciate it. It's a well-made knife, uh, but I know he likes bigger stuff like I do. Uh, so anyway, for anyone in here that that isn't already subscribed to Peter and Christine. Uh, they're a husband wife team, uh, but have two separate channels. So women carry knives and a therapeutic edge. Yeah, um, it's the void. Yeah, this is the sharp by design void by Brian Nadeau. And this one's with marble carbon fiber. This is made by Riot. Cool knife. And of course, you know, you can do all the, the fun spidey flicking things. All the trickery and tomfoolery. Yeah, it's a cool one for sure. And I really like it. Um, the jimping on it's really nice. It's comfortable. The pocket clip works extremely well. Um, even though it doesn't look like there's uh, much room to get your pants started in there, it actually works really well. Um, so I've, I have carried this, uh, uh, you know, quite a bit actually. Um but uh yeah really cool knife mm -hmm. the the void xl uh for sure i would be all about that for sure this one's great um uh, but for big hands uh a little bit bigger would be nice but like i said christine i'm sure you'll love this thing yeah she likes the inlay i agree i i really like inlay yeah and it's perfect smooth uh you can't feel um, you know, the inlay is, is perfectly smooth with the, the scales on both sides Yeah, done. One of the other things, you know how sometimes the, the, um, uh, uh, well, I can just show you on, on frame lock knives. Let me find one here. This one does it a bit. 
and oh I, no, and I have I so many knives, but none of them are doing what I want. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see that the lock bar, uh, when the blade is closed and the detent ball is sitting in the hole, you can see that the, the it's not flush across there. So when you pull the blade up just a little bit, now it's flush. Um, and which is great, but on, where's it at? The void, um, they did it correctly where it's flush when the blade is closed, when the detent is sitting. Uh, Brian Nadeau does not use a detent ball. He uses a, a detent nub. Uh, so just a different, different system all the way around. Uh, so this thing is built just like his customs are. Um, and it definitely, you can tell when you flip it, it has a completely different feel than a, a traditional uh, frame lock knife with a ball style detent. So she wants to see it in my hand. <laughs> yes, you may see it in my hand. Like yay. Like it feels real. really good. And it fits my hand really well. My all of my fingers are on it. There's plenty of space for me where you you probably have fingers off of it, right? Yeah. Turn turn your hand just a little more. So you can see the back side of the knife. Um, she's got a full, full four finger grip on there. Yeah. And for me, I definitely do not. Uh, for me, it's three and partial, but real. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's kind of, sort of. Yeah. A three finger. Yeah, it's it it's a three and a quarter finger grip. No problem. I'll call Christine. it. Um, but but it's nice. Um, uh, and it's very nicely contoured. The scales are are really really nicely contoured, and uh, the backspacer. It's not an integral, although it kind of looks like it. If it would focus, right? yeah. you could probably show it would show the seam. Clear up there, chap. Yeah, there, it is. there you go. So, uh, the it's an integrated backspacer into each scale, so there is a seam down the center. Bye but it's tie. very nicely made. Later on, Chris, have a good one, man. So, uh, yeah, well, guys, um, we've been going for, at this point now, almost an hour and a half. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, has anybody got any other questions asking me about knives for sale, uh, prior to doing this live stream? And, and I did show a handful of knives for sale, but if anyone didn't catch it, I've got a Shaman, the Blade HQ exclusive. The Zome HAP40 and SUS410 Delica, uh, a ZT0470, a ZT0460, the uh, uh, Giant Mouse Clyde, and then a whole bunch of, uh, we'll call them budget-ish Spider Co's, the Tenacious Lightweight, the Pacific Salt series, um, and I've got them in black and satin blades. So, so anyway, guys, if anybody's interested in any of that stuff, uh, hit me up. Uh, what are Those you most are, excited about that's yet to come out? Um, I actually am getting a couple of new uh, Spider Coats um, uh, really, really quickly that are pretty cool. So you guys will be seeing those on my channel very, very soon. So you're excited about them? Um, yeah, I'm excited about a couple of them. Um, and uh, and then, yeah, I don't know. There's a there's a few uh, different knives that are coming out. I can't remember the name of them right at the moment. Um, the uh, Wii's got a new model coming out that is supposed to be like. And stuff, just so you guys know, we'll. Yep. Yeah, we have a lot of things happening on the web or on our, uh, the whole, we'll call it the whole OCD for EDC. Um, franchise. No, not a franchise. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> like that. So, yeah, we, it, well, and several new things. So, um, stay tuned. Yeah, there'll be lots of updates coming for 
kind of my channel and whatnot. Um, should be interesting. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. One more. Have hey, Stasa, what's up, man? Have you heard yet which Rex 45 burnt orange knife? Remember off the top of my head, the Native 5 may have been one of the PMs. I can't remember. Um, I don't know. You'll just have to. Two burnt orange Rex 45 spider codes that I should have maybe tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, something like that. Uh, one for sure is the native uh, buzz. Hey, Stasa, do you still have that quiet carry drift? I haven't haven't seen that on your channel for a while. Uh, quiet carry drift? Yes. Is it stealthy? No. Is it very quiet? No. Yes, you do. Are you still loving it? Or is it is it uh, is it worth the investment? Is she was she pricey? Her bucks. Pretty pricey. Pricey for me. Yeah. <laughs> for a knife. Yep. I'm just curious because he's had it. So many new knives. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. There's always something that comes around. That you kind of occupy your time with, huh? Here, so I'm gonna get off the 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 live stream here, but uh, enter in in the uh, the uh, TSA competition. You will strop from sharpening supplies, among other things as um, well. Things as well, but this is pretty awesome. This extra large strop, so really cool strop. Yeah, really cool addition. Definitely go and uh, check out Northwest Knives. And if, when you order anything from them, tell them that you found it out or t-shirt just like this one and whatever color, they have lots of colors, tons of colors actually. So uh, you get to pick that. So really guys, so if you order online, just put your, put in OCD for t-shirt. And uh, yeah. Have a great one, guys. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll be doing the the TSA competition coming up here at the end of this month. Ten is the blade steel. So get your knives sent in. All right, guys. We will talk to you <laughs> later on, people.